Hi, today we are in Madrid, a very Catholic city. Have you ever wondered why God really is connected to money? Here we have the answer, Jesus uh, from Madrid, who is uh, operating some of the very well-known financial companies here in Spain. Um, Jesus, who are you and what do you do? I am not the person who you, who you think about. <laughs> I am the, the CEO of Financial Red and Bolsa Outcome. It's, it's very, really, when I go abroad, it's very strange for people that uh, people can, can be called Jesus, but in Spain it's, uh, very typical, and uh, people like the, the name. Okay. What did you do before you started this company? I, I am a computer engineer. I really, my first job was really working in, in the internet bubble, just the beginning of the internet bubble. So I really learned a lot, a lot about uh, developing portals. Mm -hmm. And also I really love markets, I love financial, I really like to develop, uh, invest uh, developing programs, so I like really uh, finance, so that with that kind of two things, uh, I started my, my, my media, financial media company in 2007. In 2007, okay. And how did you change from be, being an employee to be, becoming an entrepreneur? Uh, the main reason was my, my partner, Gonzalo. Uh, it's a person who is a, an entrepreneur, I think, from the five years ago, from when he had, he had, he had five years ago, or the old. And they don't imagine her, uh, himself working in a company. So when I met him, really, I understand the opportunity that we have to, to create our first company. And we think a lot, but we make the crazy thing to, to leave the, the bank uh, employment and, and to, to begin with the, the, this, uh, this, really, this project. And I am really happy. I think it was really a very uh, dangerous uh, decision, but when you really like all of something, I think you can, after that, with that passion, you yeah. can, I think, uh, do whatever you want. And uh, tell us a little bit more about how the three companies are working together. Financial Red Didi, when I define Financial Red, I think is is a media that is built, built on the talent of the network. We really find uh, out of people who really are very talented writing about finance. Mm -hmm. And we invite them to, to write in, in Financial Red. We are really a, a group of people mm -hmm. that write for for a company. So block network. It's a block network. Right now it's more like a block block was a format. Right now we write in different kind of uh, spaces like you know social networks. We are in a portal. But really it's the talent of the people who mm -hmm. who are pressing the internet with with the web two point zero permits people yeah. to discover that kind of talent. Mm -hmm. And that's really our uh, the, the the I think the reason of the success mm -hmm. of financial aid. After that uh, we discovered that really media is a very competitive environment and usually in that years uh, the, the, the payments or the, the ads are paid uh, lower and lower. Mm -hmm. So with that amount of high traffic, because we were in one year the, the most uh, visited website in Spain mm -hmm. uh, of financial, uh, we decided to, to to try different business models. That's why we create Bolsa, mm -hmm. that is uh, a social network of investors, mm -hmm. and also other companies uh, in order to uh, to try to to propose people to monetize to monetize people yeah. with other kind of uh, ways. Okay, and um, the financial red it's a block network. So basically, what you're doing is. Uh, selling some ads and uh, on the other hand having other people writing great content right? yes. and uh, are you focusing with the content on some specific niche like I don't know news or education or um, specific techniques related to trading or some events related to trading or is it totally open that everybody can write uh, of, uh, on any, any topic? Anybody can write about uh, whatever they want but really we are very uh, I think our main focus is opinion okay because really people who write for us it's people who are very expert in yeah. what they are writing they don't have time sometimes to be in the real time writing about what is happening in the real time 
but they really can make a very very good analysis of what is happening mm-hmm. and i think it's our main uh, main advantage uh, of power so really we are we are probably the the more opinion media sometimes media cannot do opinion mm-hmm. you do there are some limited limitation about that we are really all the time uh, making opinions about everything in finance so really sometimes we are really 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 making uh opinions of everything and they like, creating trends sometimes yeah. of opinions yeah and uh, for financial red and bolsa where are the com- the users coming from so from which countries and from which marketing channels like search engines social paid? i think at, at the beginning of the company when we are really an international company we are in 20 uh, co- uh, countries uh, a lot of them in Spanish uh, language, like uh, in Mexico right now is the first country, Spain, Argentina, uh, Colombia and Chile, Peru. At the beginning, I think people find us uh, from Google, from search engines, mm-hmm. because it was what reading. Right now, really, in the, the last two years, people can find us in social networks like Facebook, oh, okay. LinkedIn, Twitter, so right, really, the, the, really, we have moved from search engines to some ah. social networks. So right now we have a very high percent of traffic uh, that arise from social, from social networks. Ah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, search engines also is a very huge uh, amount of traffic, but right now uh, I think the search engines of right now probably sometimes finds things in in this kind of uh, environment. Huh? And what uh, what do you think, what is the uh, share of search engine traffic from your visits? Well, so, uh, at the beginning it was really nothing, uh, I think four years ago, right now probably is uh, 15%, 20%, okay. really is really growing a lot and that's why we really focus uh, sometimes in making good things for, for social networks. So I think it's, it's important, it's becoming important. We, we have uh, sometimes, uh, we are different, uh, Twitter is a very financial social network. Yeah. They have tickers, as you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. hashtags. So yeah, yeah. in in the stock market, we have a lot of uh, uh, people who visit us from, from Twitter. Okay. And probably from more uh, usual things like tips for saving, yeah. I don't know, uh, tips for uh, taxes, we receive more from, from Facebook. So, oh, okay. and for more specific things, LinkedIn is also. Oh, so okay. I think every uh, social network has his uh, preference. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we, we like very much because we find people in that kind of network and they like us. So it's really, we are really, we have a, we have a team that is all, only focused on, on delivering our content in, in social networks. And uh, with Bolsa, you said that is somehow an inv- investor network or trader network. Um, can you tell us a little bit more what the people can really do there? Yes, Bolsa really is a social network, in, a specialized social network of investors. So we don't have ads, not a media company. You can have a premium profile. So we try to to leverage all our uh, content or our all the best things that we can provide to our users, mm-hmm. you know, that they can do the best decision in, in market. But also we think it's very important uh, also to leverage the intelligence of the community, mm-hmm. the wisdom of the crowd. Yeah, yeah. And I think that kind of network uh, permits that they can find invest, uh, opportunities to invest from other uh, users. And I think when you have a, such huge community, you realize that they are very good people uh, making investment decisions. So yeah. I think what Bolsa tries is to to leverage the best ones. Okay. So in an environment, we try also to to promote all the things that a broker or even the company itself, because we have yeah. some companies that are in the Spanish stock market. Mm-hmm. They want to share the results, the, the news. Yeah, yeah. So this is a better way to to communicate that kind of things to our community. So I think companies are understanding yeah. that they can have a more direct contact with investors and they permit us to have more confidence in the company. And uh, the companies also pay for distributing this kind of information to the public market? They really pay for having a community in, mm-hmm. in, in, in Bolsa.com. So to have all the functionality and our okay. help 
in order to use a community. Yeah, yeah. It's not really paying for really for publishing the content. It's more to have all the possibilities. It's one that, package, and that's it. That you have in our uh, community in order to to have more uh, more things to 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 contact with your, uh, yeah. your network. Okay, you said that the funny thing is about Bolsa that you can follow and other great investors by seeing their results. This matches very well with your third company, with this, this uh, Algo Trading Fund, who's, which is performing quite well. Um, can you tell us a little bit more? When, how did you come up with the idea uh, of starting this uh, Algo Trading? Yes, well, no, I, first of all, well, we have an agreement right now with Toro because really when we know Toro, I think it was also a, a community that. Uh, also share investments yeah. uh, from my so it really me merged with our uh, social network perfect because they were the transaction part yeah. and they were really and about I really I really uh, the first time when I computer engineer as I told you uh, and the last time or the last years of my career I focus on s s numerical series to yeah. statistical so good that kind of uh, knowledge I know Sergi, that is one of the most famous uh, algorithm developers uh, in Spain, oh, okay. and I really like to love with with him. Uh, so we are in a team, uh, really working in, in developing system for trying to invest because it really was my one of my uh, things that I want to to. To, to make in the future. Mm -hmm. So right now, very happy we, with all the, the people who also I, I have known in all financial red, all uh, Bolsa.com, uh, also permit me to have more ideas of, yeah, of yeah. trading. And right now, the last year we developed, uh, we have been two years in Cersan Systemas, that is the company. And we have developed four systems right now. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the best systems of uh, in Spain. We have a near 50% of profit uh, the first year with real money. Mm -hmm. So I, it was really very, very, uh, very, very funny to try to be profitable with uh, automatic systems. So, yeah. and we achieved it in last year, so. Great. Um, let's talk about the, the market for media companies in general and uh, what trends you see in this. Um, like for example, uh, what the media companies are doing right now, selling ads uh, for, for eyeballs, and uh, maybe what kind of shifts you see they are doing and uh, what your view on that would be. Uh, I see different things. We are in a, in a very competitive environment in media. Uh, right now, not only the media companies uh, have ads. You can the, the out of projects like Facebook are, are not really media. Mm. They are also com uh, competing with even mm. the search engines are, mm. are not really media. They are competing for the, the budget of ads. So we are really really in a very competitive system. So that makes that there are huge offer uh, to put ads in internet. That's that's really a, a problem because you sometimes see that you are in a sector like a sport, uh, it's like a simple, that there are a huge amount of money in sport bets. But you see that media company for sports magazines are dying. Yeah. So uh, I think media, is under, uh, first of all, if this environment didn't, doesn't change, uh, there will be no media or the, the, the sport bet will have to create the media. Yeah. I don't know. So I think what right now is moving is, is is having is thinking is there are some media companies that are thinking in to become a player in this sector in order to to all the people ha that this it for for even this content that is yeah. related to to the business mm -hmm. uh, to become really to uh, to the business one of the business would be uh, the better the sport bets so I think that's what is happening right now or the media for equity that yeah. is something that is happening. So media companies understand that if they, they are out of money really in this sector, they are writing about that then, and it's not really, it's, uh, it's really not an unsustainable uh, environment that this kind of media yeah. didn't with anything that in, a, in a sector that is really have a huge opportunities. So I think they are moving. Mm -hmm. And also I think that the companies 
in the sector are creating media, the brand content. Yeah. So I think we are mixing a lot of things. And probably or we will uh, the final. I don't know will be the final, but probably I think media companies in the next year have we are going to develop more a business about media because yeah. even if they are not uh, too much with this kind of uh, revenue, it will be very huge for them. Yeah. So. I think they are going to be a mix between media and between uh, business or uh, companies in the sectors, and I think the, the companies that understand better the, the, this combination will be the, probably the next uh, big players, and probably uh, can appear some big players from media in some sectors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically, a short story would be that the standalone business model of media companies is not sustainable, and they have uh, yeah basically two choices on how they grow the, uh, the company. First one would be just to yeah, be part of other companies like for example media for equity deals or if they just set up or integrate with other uh, companies in their value chain. Yeah. So yeah. maybe even seeing more M&A deals or so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think media really when you think about uh, what is media, uh, finally you have the client in, in, in out of time in, in your website or reading your news so really is this is very important so even i don't know facebook also is very important because they have a lot of people uh, wasting time in, in facebook <laughs> and they have a lot of mail so i think uh, media uh, have to learn how to monetize this yeah. because really they have uh, these people who waste time yeah. in his uh, sites i think is the most valuable probably uh, thing that they can have so they, they, they have to learn how really to monetize this. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, we from Entrepreneurial Insights, we always want to share some insights and advice for first-time entrepreneurs. What advice could you give a first-time entrepreneur when he wants to start a company? Well, no, first of all, I, I say that they have to ha have a passion in what they have to, to do because really it will help to, compet uh, to be competitive. If you really love what you are, what you are doing you probably will be good at, uh, at that yeah. and after that that they that they think a lot about the business model i think uh, yeah, you can create probably sometimes things bigger and you, you can delay the decision of the business model but we have what we are i have learned about all this process is that sometimes if you think uh, a little bit about the business and you find really a good business model, it can really leverage your company, and you can be uh, more, you can be more uh, efficient, and you can grow more faster. So the business model at the beginning it is something that you can you, sometimes you discover when you have uh, or you have worked in your company for two or three years. Mm -hmm. If you can really think a little bit more uh, the business model, and you can test it. Yeah will help you a lot because after that you can be really efficient in your growth. And and the, the, the other question that I say is they, they become international. I think in internet it's really it's not too difficult yeah. to be international. And I think sometimes you are in a country that is not so huge as the United States. Yeah, yeah. How you, yeah, even you really need more to be international because if you are in the United States it's not really uh, so important because you have a huge market but I think in our countries you need to think globally because if not this will be more difficult. And I mean you cannot defend against it if you set up your website and Google searches you and they provide search uh, results to people looking for something that you offer they will come from whichever country they are uh, living in so if you start a company you are international. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Jesus, very much. Thank you very much.